YouTube. Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim and this is episode 101. I am fresh off my time at the Mid-American Truck Show in Louisville. Had a fantastic time. If you hadn't seen the videos that I made while I was there, you should definitely go check them out. But I am waking up in a rest stop back in Kentucky. I'm right at the Tennessee-Kentucky line on my way to, yeah, you guessed it, Louisville, Kentucky. According to the new Rand McNally Overdrive, we are 179 miles away from SEVA. I will do a review video on the new Rand McNally Overdrive in, you know, a couple of weeks after I get a little time under my belt with it. But I do have one complaint now. It's got a dash cam. Well, it's actually got two cameras, front, frontwards and rear facing. But as far as the one that faces the road, <laughs> I keep seeing the mount in it. And I've been trying to position it all kind of different ways. But in every position, well, I'll show you what I mean. We hit the dash cam. And yeah, there's the mount. I could show you lots of different other positions, but in all of them, you would see the mount. So if anyone has a tip on how to position it so you can get footage without seeing the mount in it, please hit me up in the comments. I mean, I guess you could crop a little section of it in post-production and get that, but you know. Mm. You guys caught me taking a sip of some gourmet coffee. At Matt's, there was a few lucky viewers out there that got to sample a delicious cup of French press coffee. And they all gave it a big thumbs up. I do have a special announcement. GQ Trucker Magazine has contacted me and I'm nominated for Beard of the Year Award. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. And there's going to be... um. I'm just kidding. <laughs> GQ Trucker. That's pretty funny. Nah, but take a look at my, my half beard. This will probably be the last episode you see it in its entirety. Anyway, because summer's coming. I'm usually clean shaved in the summertime. So, I'm thinking while I'm on vacation, or either right before I go on vacation, I'm going to shave it off and go clean shaved until fall comes. But, it's time to get on the road, clock is ticking, pre-trip's over, I'll see you guys up the road. Alright, truck and journey, we've got a teachable moment. It's not, there it goes, I've got a fault code, low beam fault. Which what that means is I've got a headlight out. See that one? It's not on. That one is on. Here's what you do. We've got to open our hood to get to it. The low beam that's out is this one here. So we're going to take this little plate off here by removing this screw pin and this plate so we can get to it. Which there's three different bulbs. Right here is the one we need to get to. And we're simply just gonna take that out. Now that the bulb's out, and we'll wanna get us a bulb that matches this one. Okay, after looking at a bulb that's not blown, this one definitely is because there's a little spring hanging down. We're on this one. I can clearly see the spring but it's a 12 volt, 55 watt halogen bulb. So now that we've got a replacement bulb, we will put it in where the other one was. And now we have light. So we'll just put everything back in. It clicks into place. Put the cap back on. Put the plate back on, screw this into place, and we are done, people. We can get back on the road, and the lights are so bad when you have two. I definitely don't want to be rolling with one, you know what I mean? Alright, 
Let's get back trucking. Well, I delivered and did a quick trailer swap to SEVA. Now I'm in Claremont, Kentucky at the Jim Beam Distillery. I've checked in and now I am in line waiting to get loaded. And here it's kind of a, a driver assist with the loading. There's these little thin cardboard sheets that go under each pallet. So whenever it is my time to get loaded, I won't be able to sit out in the truck, eat lunch, take a nap, edit video, any of those kind of things. I will be assisting. Well, that was a little forklift loading action at Jim Beam. But I have left Jim Beam. It is now the next day. I am waking up slap dab in the middle of the gorge at a rest stop. Less than 200 miles from where I'm taking this in Columbia. And I'm getting ready to make my coffee. Yeah, I had not had coffee yet. And do my pre-trip. But I'm thinking, I'm in the gorge. I'm in the mountains. Let's fly a drone. <laughs> coffee but people that was a little early morning drone footage from the gorge but it is time to get on the road we're taking this to Columbia not sure what's next but we are going for our third 500 plus mile day in a row so let's get moving to the yard but it's not the yard I told you guys a minute ago I was going to I'm at the Greer yard they changed it on me which was not a surprise I was actually surprised when they sent me the original one saying I was keep calling it in Columbia and I am hooking up to an empty trailer now so I can head over to Michelin to get a load of tires and going to Louisville Trailer's empty, now let's check the lights. The G 
GPS, if I swipe down, I can go right back to my GPS. And I like to keep things I go to regular in the address book. And Michelin. There we go. Strawberry Plains, Tennessee, getting ready to go inside here to the pilot to take a shower. All right, fresh from the shower. Boy, do I feel better. But uh, it's time to get back on the road. I've got just enough time to get this delivered, as long as I don't hit any kind of delays. And maybe, just maybe, I can make it to my next pickup that's in the morning. But if, if I can't, that's no huge of a deal uh picking up in um about 30 miles away from where louisville's at and taking it to upstate south carolina and then i'll have one more day of running people and then it's vacation time but we'll talk more about that in a bit all righty it is a new day i'm waking up at the myers but today i will not be going in and buying some ben and jerry's chubby hubby no sir I'm headed, let's see, 38 miles from here over into Indiana to get a load. It's taking me back to upstate South Carolina, which would be a good home load, but I need to run tomorrow as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get this load, people. What do you say? Kentucky called me and he's having trouble adjusting his tandems. So you're, uh, what, 35,000 pounds on these and only 29 up there? Yep. All right, little teamwork got it. We should be good. But Kentucky's gonna um, check it to see. Well, there goes Kentucky. So, I was planning on taking a break somewhere around the Knoxville, Tennessee area, but uh, my phone rings and it was Kentucky, so I answered, and he said he was having trouble sliding his tandems, meaning his drive tires were spinning and it wasn't breaking loose. Ironically, I was only five miles away and the next exit happened to be this one. So you got lucky on that one in Kentucky. So uh, we stopped by him with a little team effort. We were able to break it loose and he just waited on the scale and he gave me the thumbs up as he went by. So uh, I guess he's good. And there's a way station about 60 miles away from here. Let me roll up this window so we don't have that background noise. But 
I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do my 30 minute break while I'm here and edit this video and get it up. It's gonna be a little over a week before I upload another Truck and Journey episode because starting Friday, Trucker Jim is on vacation. My kids are on spring break, so I'm getting them for the week. Misty, my girlfriend and I, have rented a awesome cabin up in the Gatlinburg area. Uh, her boys are coming up as well, so we're gonna have a good old mountain time. Now, I will have a live video on Thursday, as usual, and probably even the Thursday that I'm on vacation, I'll, I'll do a quick one, and maybe just maybe I'll put some kind of mountain vacation video together. But I'm gonna be back out on the road somewhere in the ballpark of April the 8th maybe April the 7th at the absolute earliest um, and maybe I'll get another trainee then I got an email uh, yesterday from a truck driver named Corey Smith that says he had stumbled across my goal setting video that I'd made like a year and three months ago and asked me how I was doing on the goals and I did a quick review and well I've done pretty good all my equipment that I'd set a goal to make, I now have. Uh, my income goal, I, I, I reached for the year. Now, I had wanted to do a vacation with the kids last year, which I didn't do, but hey, I'm getting ready to go on one now, so it's a little delayed, but, you know, goal is getting ready to be checked off there. But the goals I'd set for my YouTube channel, I'm not even close and I readjusted and I mentioned this in a, a video I don't know episode or two ago or maybe a live feed I can't remember that I have set the goal to be over 10,000 subscribers when I come back from vacation and I'm only right at halfway there now so here's how you guys can help accomplish that goal if each one of you can share either this video or maybe one of your favorites as a previous episode and one or two new subscribers comes from you sharing this episode that goal will be accomplished now if you I don't know if you feel weird about sharing stuff with people then don't worry about it but for you guys that enjoy this content maybe some of your friends would too so if you don't mind sharing that would be awesome now if you like this episode be like staff sergeant jason Rayley and give it a big thumbs up we appreciate your service staff sergeant and uh old kentucky's gonna help me close this episode out i'll see you guys next time be safe out there and keep on trucking